Earlier in the show, I spoke with Jewish writer Masha Gessen about the increasing complexity and even, yes, weaponization of anti-Semitism in this country, especially on the right. The new documentary, Israelism, a film about American Jews by American Jews, re-examines their understanding of Israel and even their own framing of anti-Semitism. The way that we talk about anti-Semitism isn't about protecting Jews, it's about protecting Israel. How dangerous is that? They will do anything to preserve unconditional support for Israel. The great irony is that there actually is resurgent anti-Semitism. History is not going to judge us kindly. Colleges around the country have tried to ban the film for months, and those calls have only grown louder since Hamas's attack on Israel on October the 7th. Hunter College, the University of Pennsylvania, Yale have all had heated debates around the airing of the film. A screening of the film with hundreds of ticket goers was even cancelled by a theatre board in Hamilton, a city in Ontario. Now, we have to ask, what is so dangerous about a film centering young American Jews and their relationship with Israel? Joining me now is one of the protagonists in Israelism, Simone Zimmerman. Uh, Simone, thanks for coming on the show. The documentary was made before October the 7th. Did you ever imagine that there would be this kind of backlash? I mean, it appears as though in the name of fighting anti-Semitism, folks are trying to stop a movie about Jewish people. Yes, thank you so much for having me, Mehdi. It's great to be here. Uh, yeah, you know, the foreign relations strategy of the Israeli government relies on the idea that all Jews agree with what they're doing. Unfortunately for them, there has never, ever been agreement in Jewish history about anything, especially not such matters as life or death and the safety of our own people. So yeah, it's, and, and, and young people, young Jews, just like young people all around the country, we are watching live on our phones right now, the live stream of atrocities straight from the Gaza Strip, from people who look like us, who think like us, who just want to be safe and free and to pursue their dreams like we do. And the film actually tells the story of young Jews like me and thousands around the country who have had that awakening, who have dared to face the Palestinian reality and, and are outraged and heartbroken that any of this injustice could be happening in the name of our safety. So you mentioned atrocities. The scenes coming out of Gaza remain horrific as the deaths continue to mount there by the day. The Israeli military is accused now of running over dead bodies with a bulldozer outside of a hospital in Gaza. They've denied those claims that they buried people alive underneath the rubble. Uh, in addition to women were also shot, two Christian women shot and killed uh, by a member of the Israeli military inside the Holy Family Parish in Gaza, according to church leaders in Jerusalem. The Israeli military said they are looking into these reports. But what kind of discussions, Simone, or arguments even, are happening within the Jewish American community when reports like this come out? Is it all seen as justified in the name of fighting Hamas and defending Israel amongst the majority of Jews? Yeah, well, there's obviously a vicious debate, a passionate debate uh, within our community about all of these matters. I, I can say, you know, the people in my community, we're seeing these images and we're seeing the the echoes of the trauma, the violence that Jewish people have experienced in the past that we have been taught all of our lives to, to be outraged by, to stand against. And, and the idea that any trauma that our people have experienced could be justifying this, it's, it's so outrageous and disgusting. And I, I have to say, you know, if we're talking about just this period of the last two months has been a time of incredible grief and heartbreak and, and fear. And if there's anything that I've learned in the last two months, it's that massacring anybody in the name of safety for another people is, it's, it doesn't work. Simone, one last question. You've described what you experienced as indoctrination and mass mobilization to turn you into an advocate for Israel inside of the US. Before we run out of time, just briefly, what is it that you would like people to understand about that phenomenon and take away from the documentary Israelism? Yeah, I think I would just say that, you know, most American Jews, let alone most Americans, have never met a Palestinian person in their life. And, you know, when I met Palestinians on campus, uh, I learned that for them, the reality of their life 
under Israeli rule was one of oppression and occupation and, and displacement. And that fundamentally shifted my politics. And that's why young Jews are so much closer in our politics to people like Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib and Jamal Bowman than we are to President Biden and Chuck Schumer, because we refuse to put a hierarchy on human life. We refuse to ignore Palestinians, to dehumanize them, and to keep them outside of the conversation. And once you do that, it fundamentally shifts everything. Well put. Simone Zimmerman, thank you for your time. The documentary is called Israelism, and it's very powerful. Thank you so much. Coming up, thank you. Coming up next.